Sorry if I got a little out of hand last night with that conversation about Game of Thrones. It's just that one scene really freaks me out. My mom had been sick for five years, holding on longer than the doctors expected. And on Christmas, she told me how she wanted to end her life. She asked me for permission. There's something about the certainty in her voice, how much pain she was in, and I said, okay. The necessary drugs had all been prescribed. It was so well thought out. We decided to watch a movie. Deciding on which movie to watch took a particularly long time, and she said that this, this belabored process of deciding on a movie confirmed her decision to die. <laughs> Halfway through, she took the first set of pills, and then two more every 30 minutes after. <laughs> she asked me for the ice cream. I had, uh, crushed some pills in it for her. I fed her small spoonfuls, and she said that it tasted like heaven. After that, she started becoming more and more tired and more and more lucid. She started talking about Bob Dylan, and she seemed happy. And then she fell asleep. She started snoring. It sounded mechanic like some factory. And I must have fallen asleep because at 2.15 AM, I woke up. There's black blood slowly running from her nose and from her mouth. I screamed, I felt for a pulse. I sat her up thinking that this would stop the black blood, but there was more stored in her nose and her mouth and it started coming out at a faster rate. I screamed, I couldn't stop it. And that's when I knew she was gone. I called the police. They had a lot of questions. I explained about her ALS and that she'd had a particularly rough week. I became increasingly nervous of a medical examiner doing an autopsy. I was scared and frustrated, and mostly I was sad. At 6 a.m., the police left, and the funeral service came and took her away. I went to bed. I couldn't sleep. I just kept staring at the ceiling, kept hearing a voice saying, you killed your mom. I killed my mom. I am a murderer. I must have fallen asleep because at 12 p.m. the next day, I woke up and drove to the funeral home. I last goodbye. She was at peace. 